All right, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the FIFA 20 Sunderland Career Mode. So we are in the last sort of two games of the season now in season two. What I've done is I've started a new save and I've saved all the way through with the current team that we already have all the way through until the end of season two. So we can just jump into season three in the Premier League. So we are in the final of the FA Cup against Everton. And as you can see, yeah... 3-0 against Manchester United, 3-0 against Arsenal, 3-0 against Exeter City. Exeter City managed to get it through at the fifth round there. But we've done really, really well, as, you, as you'll see in the Championship. 138 goals, 138 points, 46 games, 146 played. So, yeah, we've gone unbeaten uh, in the Championship there as well. We've also done... The Carabao Cup, I think. I think we won the Carabao Cup. Yep, we beat Spurs 3-0. Another 3-0 win. <laughs> We've done a lot of 3-0 wins this season, alright? Just 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 bear with it. But um We like I said, we've done we've done pretty well. We've done pretty well. As for the squad, you know, squad's done pretty well as well. Uh, if we just go to stats quickly and show you the goals. So leading the way is Adnan Yanazai with 37 goals in 49 games. Then it's Mason Greenwood with 24 in 52. Benjamin Kim Bjorka, the MVP after that, uh, 21 goals there and 40 games. Aaron Connolly there, 20 and 43. And where our number nine, remarkably, uh, is on 14 goals. Only 14. Bit disappointing, bit disappointing. But yeah, I just wanted, like I said, I just wanted to show you, obviously, the, the growth and everything from a lot of the players and everything as such. So if we just scroll all the way to the top. And go to here. Karamoka Dembele there has is is has gone up five there, um, so he's now eighty rated. Bear in mind this is obviously the same squad but slightly different attributes and ratings um, from obviously the cost we've had to start new save. So keep that in mind, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, plus five there on Karamoka Dembele. He's up to eighty. Uh, Jeremy Fringpong there up to seventy six from seventy two. That's a plus four. Junior Melander there on a seventy seven. As well, Barley Mumba there up to 75. Brandon Williams there, 77. Timothy Ioma, 77. Tito Fernandez there on a 74, which is a five star, five star regen of someone. I can't remember who he is, but I, I did pick him up. But yeah, everyone else, pretty pretty good growth, pretty, pretty good growth um, all the way through the squad, actually. But yeah, Adnan Yanezai is our highest rated player on 83, Francis Amuzu 82, and then Karen Walker Dembele on 80. So that is our, you know, that that's our team um, pretty much done. That's, you know, we've like I say, we've got two games left to go. So I'm going to sim the Everton game and I'm going to play the Europa League final in this episode. Then we'll get into season three's preseason. And then obviously next episode we'll get started with the Prem. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so Everton in the FA Cup final. I'm not bothered about winning this, but here we go. Uh, boom. It's 3-2. Boom. Have it. Yo, we always score three goals. I don't know why. But, yeah, Ruben Samut there, Adnan Yanazai, and Karamoko Dembele coming through with the goals. Um, Jean-Philippe Gabamin and Andre Gomes with the goals for Everton. To be honest, that's a really strong Everton side. Um, Sandro, Zahave, Calvert-Lewin... Walcott's still playing. Dina Zagadu. Wow, Dan Axel Zagadu. And Yeri Mina is a really strong sort of centre-back partnership there. Obviously, Pickford will be like 85, 86 now. But, yeah, let's move into the Bayern Munich game. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, we are playing at Dortmund Stadium, the Signal Iduna Park, or the BVB Stadion in Dortmund, uh, for the Europa League final. And we're going with the first team. So I'm actually really interested to see what lineup uh, Bayern Munich put out here because this could be a really, really tough game, if you know what I mean. But yeah, hopefully we do well. All right, lads. So the Bayern Munich game, the Bayern Munich lineup: Neuer, Pavard, Chilwell, Lewandowski. Ah, I didn't see the full fucking lineup because it's changed. But ah. I wanna, I wanna have a look. I want to have a look at this lineup. Uh, player ratings. Oh, look at that lineup, lads. Neuer, Chilwell, Luca Hernandez, Jerome Boateng, and Benjamin Pavard, Kimmich, Muller, and Goretzka in midfield. Coman, Lewandowski, and Nabry up top. Oh my god. 
we're gonna get hammered. I think we're gonna get hammered in this one. Luka nine. That's a foul referee. What do you mean? Kingsley Coleman down the left hand side for Bru for I was gonna say Bruce Dortmund, but it's not. Tito Fernandez picks it up, and he's just gonna he's just gonna run here, and straight down the line for Francis and Muzu, who is pretty decent. It's Mason Greenwood. It's a beautiful volley. And it's 1-0 against the run of play. I would I would I would say the run of play to be fair. But that is the first goal of the game. And it, again it comes off who else? Mason Greenwood. So I'm I'm actually really, really happy about that. I, I know I don't seem it, but I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to hold off on actually celebrating because I don't wanna seem presumptuous if that makes sense you know I just want to uh, I just want to see how this game goes because this is a 90 rate like this is an 88 99 like 89 rated team right now so I need to be careful I need to play smart Muller and Nabry right now down the right hand side Nabry crosses it in Luka 9 go uh, that was that was good shadowing to be fair that was really good shadowing Lewandowski and Nabry just trying to link up. Ah, I don't know who gave that away. That might have been Tito who gave that away. I think it was. Coman down this left-hand side. He gets it through Lugo Nine's legs, but it's cleared and dealt with by Willis. But it's just going to come straight back. It's Goretzka into Nabry. We need to be careful. Nabry is good. Nabry's a good player. Jordan Willis has stepped up. It's Nabry, and it's 1-1. This is what I mean. <laughs> this is what I mean. I can't drop my guard against Bayern Munich. Ah, Jordan Willis just stepped up at the wrong, wrong time, and it obviously it led, it, it just gave Nabry the the chance there to get in and score the goal, which is disappointing. But it is what it is. Luka 9 over the top. Can we get can we get some cheese? Amuzu cross comes in. It's a costa. It's two. It's counted. It's counted. <laughs> yes. It has counted, ladies and gentlemen. We got we got 45th minute cheese. We got 45th minute cheese. Straight from kickoff down the line. Uh Luka 9 into Amuzu, as you can see on the replay right now. Straight into Acosta, who chests and volleys straight past Neuer. Jerome Boateng, nowhere to be seen. The Argentine strikes again, 2-1. Dwight McNeil here down the left-hand side. But yeah, Neuer is probably still going to be about 84, 83. Um, so yeah, he's still going to be you know, a decent, decent rate of keeper. Denver Hume here comes away with the ball. It's into a Muzu down the line for Luke on nine. Good play by the boys. I need someone to help out. It's Yanazai into Denver Hume. Gets out across the box. It's missing Greenwood. That was really good play. I, I'm applauding that. That was really, really good play by the boys. That was fantastic. Like the build up to it, and like obviously we didn't. You know, we didn't panic or anything like that. That was good play. Denver Hume, you know, Lugo 9 waiting for an option. Yanazai made himself available. He then passed it on to Hume, who gets it across the face of the box. Mason Greenwood is there with his five-star weak foot to bang it into the back of the net. Minute. Um, you know, by Munich, a, a, like they've played some really good football. We've just defended really well. Like that, Jordan Willis has been absolutely incredible. He's going to be very crucial uh, going into the next season. Like obviously in season three into the Prem, and that's the Europa League title. So, I, the Europa, we've just won the Europa League and got an achievement for it. <laughs> Boo! Have that. <laughs> Alright guys, so season 2 is over and I thought I'd have a look at the other leagues that we could potentially be coming up against in, in the Premier League or in, in next season. 
because I do believe that now that we've won the Europa League, I think we qualify for the group stage of the Champions League. So we should have the Champions League next season. Uh, so yeah, Liverpool winning the Premier League title there with 92 points. Uh, I want to know who got relegated. QPR, Leeds and Blackburn. So the three promoted teams from obviously season two, um, they got relegated. Fair enough. Um, I do want to know who won the title in Liga 1, Paris Saint-Germain. All right, fair, fair. The Bundesliga was won by RB Leipzig with 88 points by Munich and Dortmund second and third respectively with 84 and 82 points. The Serie A was pretty tight. Uh, Juventus there winning that on 97 with Inter Milan and Napoli coming second and third respectively with 96 and 95. So that's a pretty tight, you know, that, that that's a pretty, you know, close group. And in La Liga, Barcelona and Real Madrid are no longer the top dogs. It's Atletico Madrid who top that league with 106 points. Uh, Barca and Real Madrid there finishing on 98 points apiece. And your Champions League winners for Season 2 was Real Madrid. A 2-0 win there over Leipzig. Alright guys, and I just wanted to show you this. So yeah, Manchester United as well as, if I do that, Paris Saint-Germain. Um, offered us jobs halfway through the season. So this was the first of April, the Paris Saint-Germain one, and the first of February uh, for Manchester United. So they approached us and were like, yo, we've seen you winning all your games. Do you want to come and be manager of us? And I'm like, nah. It wouldn't be a Sunderland career mode if I went to Manchester United or Paris Saint-Germain. That being said, I don't plan on swapping clubs or swapping allegiances i will just stay at sunderland throughout my entire throughout this entire series uh so yeah just wanted to let you know on that all right guys so end of the season is upon us we're gonna hit advance and yeah the board could not be happy with your performance so far we would delighted to have you stay at the club next season into season three all right, ladies and gentlemen, so we are now into season three, and as you can see, we have our pre-season tournament, the European International Cup. Um, bear in mind, the reward pool from this was around 7 million, like 7.1 million or something. So, basically, what I want you to do is, we have, and I mean, we have money. We have a lot of money. We have... <laughs> 100 million <laughs> we have 100 million to play with all right we are in the champions league this season and i want to win it i want to win it so i need your suggestions ladies and gentlemen this is our current team all right so obviously jamal blackman denver hume timothy ioma jordan willis luke on nine junior Melanda, tito fernandez and uh, francis and muzu there Mason Greenwood, Adnan Yanazai, Luciano Acosta, Lee Burge, Brandon Williams, Tom Flanagan, Alan Ozturk, Jeremy Frimpong, Bolly Mumba, Ruben Samud, uh, Benji Kimbioka there, Karen Mukwood, then Bele, Josh Onoma, and Aaron Connolly is our 22 players. So, what I want you to do is, I want you to suggest me uh, a right back, please, and drop two three yeah two center backs and a goalkeeper in the comments section down below that is one right back that is two center backs and one goalkeeper uh preferably premier league quality so i can start challenging for the likes of champions league spots half like you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying so yeah suggest those in the comment section down below please uh if obviously i get no suggestions i will just look at players myself but i would like to get your input on this guys thank you very much but yeah if you have enjoyed this episode drop a thumbs up it would be greatly appreciated if you're new around here hit that subscribe button and the notifications icon so you know when i release new content or go live like i said guys thanks for watching and i'll catch you in a bit